This channel puts a very high premium on values, principles, and wisdom. And one wisdom that we always advocate here is to always do our best, specifically in providing the best kind of life that we can give to our wives or to our families or to our loved ones. Of course, when you're with a lady, you need to give her the best assurance that you can give to her. The most genuine commitment that you can show her is, of course, to marry her and eventually building your own empire together. This is when we start to acquire properties, consider assets. One of the quickest assets that you can obtain is a car so ladies and gentlemen here are the five cars that i highly considered before we eventually got to our own but i can assure you that these cars are highly affordable and these are cars that you can be proud to own so just sit back relax and enjoy here we go So what's up gentlemen and ladies welcome to another episode of project gentlemen on this channel like i mentioned we love to talk about things that help us win in life so if you haven't yet consider subscribing and let's learn and grow together so yeah and going back the good thing about this channel is that we are free we can always talk about things in a perspective of a buyer or a consumer gaya na lang ng comment dito ni at trail guy sabi niya thanks so much i'm planning to move to the philippines from the usa and I like this car, but I'm not familiar with it. I'm trying to learn more than facts that a salesman might say. So, ayun nga, no, napakasarap sa pakiramdam na nakakatulong po kami dito sa inyo, especially dun sa mga OFW natin. I've already had a couple of comments from you guys who are OFWs. Some of you seafarers na nagbabalak mag-invest ng kanyang mga hard-earned money nga, like I mentioned. So, it's really a great privilege, guys, to help you on those decision-making process. So, ayun, before we start with our list, I just want you to know that this list is based on prices, functionalities, features, parts, and reliability. And I did my best to provide for you a very objective order according dun sa mga category na na-mention ko. But in the end, I believe that uh, this particular order won't matter because we all have differences in our uh, yan nga, mga preferences natin. Subjective din yung trip natin sa look, sa exterior, iba't ibang level of income. So what I'm just trying to do here is to provide the best options for different kinds of people. And then hindi na natin babanggitin lahat ng mga features nila. I already prepared a playlist for you. You can just check each and every one of these cars. So hanapin nyo na lang yung playlist na yun dun sa ating homepage ng ating channel for a more in-depth review. Okay? So top 5 on our list is si Mitsubishi Mirage G4. My highly recommended variant is you go for the GLS or yung lower variant niya na GLX. They both have zero down payment as of the making of this video. And meron din silang two months where you don't have to pay two monthly amortizations. So that for me is a very good deal. And then sa key features naman is meron siyang advanced single zone climate control, rear camera, push start button, armrest sa second row, and of course yung keyless entry niya for the doors and doon sa kanyang trunk. Yung cons naman niya is wala siyang heel start assist which is very important and then meron lang siyang 3 years na warranty. Okay, number 4 on our list is si Toyota Raze. So if you're someone who doesn't prefer sedans like the one I mentioned a while ago, the Mitsubishi Mirage G4 and you prefer the crossovers, then the Toyota Raze is for you. Why? Because it has a modern look. It is very youthful, very fascinating. Honestly, it's really amazing when you see one of these so dun pa lang sa looks niya napaka winner na nun and then other key features guys is meron siyang keyless entry Android Auto tsaka Apple CarPlay capability digital aircon with manual control meron din siyang rear parking sensors guys speed sensing door locks which is very rare meron din siyang power outlet and lastly yung favorite natin na hill start assist so yung lowest variant niya the most affordable race that you can get has a heel start assist already guys napa convenient yan and that really makes raise a very wise choice to make one con lang that the e variant has is that it has no push start button so if you prefer that you can go ahead and check the higher variants but if that's not a big deal for you toyota raise e is a very nice car to get third on our list is si suzuki espresso i highly recommend this guys as a first car because isa ito sa mga pinaka affordable na kotse pang starters talaga budget meal especially now that it has an automatic variant it gets the job done it allows you to have comfort 
comfort with your family malamig while traffic relax lang kasi automatic the simplest and one of the most affordable cars that you can get right now the key features that I love about this car is meron siyang rear parking sensors napaka importante pag uh, nagpaparka ng sasakyan mo at this price point meron ka ang hill start or start stop assist just really mind blowing those are the features that are really important to me and that's what makes Suzuki Espresso a very capable candidate on the other hand yung kanyang ko naman guys is medyo weird na nasa gitna yung uh, parang instrument cluster niya all the information all the details while you're driving nandito siya sa gitna for me I think it's a bit weird and maybe maninibago ka and another con niya rin is dun sa second row is naka roll type yung kanyang windows which is medyo old school tsaka I believe medyo obsolete na rin. So if usually you are four people riding in a car and you have passengers who are a bit maarte then you can still choose the espresso but of course you're gonna hear it. You're gonna hear some complaints from time to time I believe but overall I think if you're just a couple or bata naman yung pangatlong people nyo or yung yaya then I believe espresso is a very solid solid decision. Now let's go down to our top two choices. Easily named one of the best selling cars in the Philippines if not the best. Of course ayan nga alam na natin pang grab pang taxi which only shows that it is very reliable durable and you have the parts and the reliability in terms of the variant that I could recommend with you I would suggest that you go for the XLE because first yun yung may zero down payment usually and then meron din yung 5 years warranty and of course yun nga yung favorite natin na hill start assist but if you don't need all the other features of the XLE you can go for the more affordable Vios that you can get which is the Vios XE medyo less yung features but at that price point meron ka ng CVT na sasakyan and all the other benefits of a Toyota Vios number 2 din siya guys kasi ayun nga dahil lang sa reason na it's a little bit pricey for a starting family but if you have the capability to adjust your budget you believe kaya nyo magtipid ng konti you'll have the benefit of a sedan having a sedan is really something that you can be proud of and also one of the things that I haven't mentioned on the past videos is the benefits as well of the Vios is instead of choosing yung number one dun sa list natin the benefit lang that we appreciated now that we have the Vios is as a family that's starting to grow a little bit yung anak namin we have a lot of things, medyo madaming gamit talaga so na-appreciate talaga namin yung ang laki ng space dun sa likuran so if you're someone who needs a car right now, again like right now ha, like kaya mong tiisin yung monthly, you are confident of your monthly income and then you don't wanna spend a very huge amount of down payment for a car, I would really recommend to you the Toyota Vios which leads us to the top of our list number one na ma recommend ko talaga sa inyo as a first car is ito nga si Toyota Wigo so I made Toyota Wigo the number one choice guys, simply because of the features of course it's a given that you need something that could bring you from point a to point b right and not just that but you also need a solid car a wise investment right a brand that you know has a reputation of being durable being reliable and of course third is to sum it all up you need it to be affordable yung medyo maluwag yung monthly niya first about sa kanyang key features of course number one is yung kanyang push start button lakas maka modern my most favorite feature of the toyota wigo auto fold ng side mirrors i always mentioned that here in the Philippines sobrang sikip ng mga daanan I experience it a lot guys especially in a lot of the roads here it is very likely when you go to a loved one's house you attend an occasion may mga ka salubong ka talaga nasasakyan so aside na Wigo is very cute sobrang daling i-maneuver sobrang daling i-park sobrang daling i-lusot whether going fast or going slow and nga pagka may nakasalubong ka talaga sa mga iskinita all you have to do is just to fold your side mirrors ang late na nga ng sasakyan mo binigyan mo pa siya ng capability na makaiwas sa mga gas-gas and damaging other people's property as well one con lang talaga that I really see that Wigo doesn't have of course you can't have it all is yung hill start assist wala siya nun and that is possibly a deal breaker for me pero ayan nga about naman dun sa price point niya like I said medyo magaan talaga yung kanyang monthly if you can afford maybe around 14,000 per month for 5 years and then if you can stretch that a little bit you have maybe around 16k per month for 4 
four years napakadaling matatapos niyan but if you can even consider that 16k per month for four years and then if you can just stretch a little bit more around 18 to 19,000 then maybe kaya mo si Toyota Vios this is the reason why they are my top two choices guys I know there are still a lot of features I know there are still a lot of points arguments so I highly suggest that you go to the nearest dealerships around you and have a test drive have a look a personal look of these cars and by then you can truly know which one is the best for you alright so kahit alin po dito sa mga sasakyan na to ay winner talaga kahit ano yung piliin nyo and let me just leave you with this encouragement na yung blessings po ni Lord pagka nagdasal lang po talaga tayo nag ask po tayo ng wisdom di natin pinipilit yung di natin kaya that is when we truly enjoy a certain blessing and having a car is a very big blessing right so wag po natin kakalimutan na of course hingin pa rin natin po kay Lord ito and then samahan natin ng hustle heart kasi po pag si Lord po ang nagbigay wala talagang sakit sa ulo at walang pangangam and speaking of blessings, I also want you to know, my friend, that the greatest blessing that we receive is when our Lord Jesus Christ came here on earth for the forgiveness of our sins and healing as well ng lahat po ng mga karamdaman natin. We were really meant to suffer. We were really meant to die. But if we only believe in Him, that's when we have eternal life and live life to the fullest abundantly here on earth if we just believe in Him. In the meantime, I want you to watch this next video right here and let's continue to talk about the wonderful things in life. I can't wait to see you there. Ciao!